Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be answering the questions you guys sent me here through my YouTube, my Instagram, and through my Facebook. Yesterday I posted a post on my social media, so if you guys are not following me through Instagram and Facebook, I recommend that you do because usually Instagram gets the first notification on anything um, of me posting. I'm the most active on Instagram and Facebook, so head over there. I'll link it down below if you guys are not following. But before continuing this video, I want to quickly introduce myself for anybody that is new here. My name is Cindy Flores, and here on my channel, I share my kidney transplant journey, as well as travel vlogs, lifestyle videos, workout videos, devotionals, and so much more. So if you are new, definitely consider subscribing. Now let's begin. Okay, so I received a ton of questions guys and it's a lot so I'm gonna get through the ones that I feel like are like super um, important even though they're all important in reality and by the way I asked you guys to ask me basically anything it does not matter um, if it's kidney transplant related or if it's something about my personal life whatever it is you guys were welcome to ask so first question is your hair growing and looks fuller and are you still on prednisone? Okay, so my hair is growing. About seven months after my transplant, I started to notice a lot of hair loss, but now I feel like it's growing back and I feel like it started growing back like about a year ago. So it was like a phase where my hair was just falling out excessively. It still comes out but not to the point of where it used to and I feel like it is a lot healthier. Like I'm very thankful for where my hair is right now. And if I'm still on prednisone, yes, I am currently on five milligrams of prednisone. And I've been on prednisone since my transplant. I first started out with, I believe it was 60 and then they dropped down to 40 and then to 20 and now it's just been at five. Next question, how many liters of water do you drink per day, bottles or tap water? So I don't really measure how much water, like I don't, you know, say, oh, okay, I'm gonna drink this gallon or I'm gonna drink this many liters today. I don't do that. I just go based off of like what I feel. So throughout the day, I'm constantly trying to drink water because I know the importance. I know what it is when your body is super dehydrated and how you feel. So I try to keep my body as hydrated as possible. Um, one day I should probably measure. It honestly fluctuates because there's some days where I will drink like a good 10, 20 water bottles, which I mentioned it in a video how like, Water truly changed my life because when I drink a lot of water, I notice my skin improves, my energy gets better. So I try to drink a lot and sometimes, unfortunately, there's days where I only drink enough. So it really all depends. Our next question, where are your parents originally from? Are you and your family Christian? So my parents are from Honduras and El Salvador. My mom's from Honduras, my dad's from El Salvador, but I grew up here in the United States. I was born here. And yes, my family is Christian. I am Christian, praise God. We were all saved from the sinful life that we were living in the past. We're all trying to persevere here on our spiritual walk. Um, and I'll link on the new series. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go and check it out. On Sunday, I posted my new series called Let Go and Let God. And you guys, please check it out. I believe the Lord has a word for you. So do me a favor and go to that video next. I promise you, you will feel blessed from that video. Okay, um, next question. Are you planning to do a giveaway? Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys, cause you asked this question. Um, I do plan to do a giveaway, but around December. So stay tuned for that because I'm gonna be giving something away. Super excited. Next question, what are your views on pregnancy post-transplant? Honestly, I don't see anything wrong about it. I actually have a friend right now um, that I met through YouTube and social media that she has a transplant and she's pregnant as well. So I don't see anything wrong with it. I actually in the future wanna have another baby if God wills it. But um, it's really all about taking care of yourself. It is gonna be a higher, a high risk pregnancy. But for me, my pregnancy in the past was a risk. It was high risk, so I would do it again if I had to because it's a blessing, you know. Now I have my beautiful daughter, Emery. 
she's behind the camera, y'all, that's why. Okay. How's your donor? Well, my donor, thank God, she's doing really good. She is feeling good, strong, and healthy. Um, by the way, if you guys watched a couple videos back, which I know you guys did because a couple of you guys asked about her, um, she was pregnant, or she is pregnant, and her due date was supposed to be the 15th of November. However, the baby is still in there in the oven, growing and getting cozy. So if she doesn't go into labor soon, they will have to induce her labor. But she is doing good, the baby's healthy and strong, and I'm excited for her. She's doing really well. Next question, how is your health now? Are you feeling blessed about having a transplant? Thank God my health is doing really good. And yes, I feel extremely blessed for having a transplant because not everybody has this opportunity and not everybody is able to even get approved for a transplant. So it was a huge blessing for me to receive my transplant. I always say it's a hundred times better than dialysis and I'm thankful for this transplant. I'm super thankful for it. Our next question, what's your favorite dream car and what's your favorite Bible verse? So honestly, I always say that I have my dream car. Like I drive a silver Jeep Wrangler Unlimited and I love my car. I wouldn't change it for a thing. Like I feel like my car is just perfect and it's my dream car for me. That's my dream car. And my favorite Bible verse, um, there's many because I just love the word of God. I feel like it's so powerful and all our answers are there. But one of them that I really stuck to when I first came to Christ was Jeremiah 33.3 um, where he tells us to call unto him and that he's going to show us great and mighty things that we know is not. I've seen this verse truly apply in my life and I've seen God show me things and I've seen how he has done things that I'm even surprised about. So that is my favorite verse. Um, there's many like I said but that's just one of them. Next question, how is your sister? Was her kidney disease just a false alarm? I hope she's better because she's so sweet. Please include her in more of your videos. Also, did your donor have her baby yet? So thankfully, my sister is doing good. Praise God for that. Um, when she was in the hospital dealing with kidney disease, so what had happened is that she was extremely dehydrated, which caused her kidneys to fail. Um, but thankfully, she, you know, they put fluids in her. She started to drink a lot of water, and now she is feeling a lot better. Our next question is: I just started PD, and when I drain, there is no extra fluid. Did you have any similar experience? Also, any experiences with edema? Um, so yes, in the beginning I did have this problem because I was still creating a lot of urine. So it didn't, the machine didn't have to take off as much fluid as maybe somebody that isn't um, going to the bathroom right now. Um, but then as time went by, the machine actually did begin to take off a lot of fluid because I started to retain a lot of fluid. And edema, yes, um, I believe everybody honestly that has kidney disease goes through it because um, unfortunately the kidneys the purpose one of the purpose is to flush out the extra water and when we don't have that you know when we're not able to flush out the extra water we do begin to swell and it was very prominent around my eyelids and my ankles um, next question hi Cindy I just got my first transplant a month ago after 19 years doing hemodialysis wow wow God bless you you are strong just wondering if you felt the weak just wondering if you felt like weak during the first month or so after getting a transplant. Is, is it typical to feel that? Um, yes, that's very normal. You have to remember that you just got out of surgery. Um, your body is trying to recover and it's trying to gain strength again. It's normal for you to feel weak. I didn't start feeling better till about um, two months after my transplant. I didn't start going on long walks about three months. I didn't start working out until six months. So it takes time. It's a progress. Um, you really have to heal. You have to take your time and just stay hydrated. Follow the rules that the doctors tell you and just keep, you know, just keep slowly building on your strength. Next question. Hi Cindy, I'm 17 years old and I got my transplant only four months ago. I was wondering if I should do some muscular building exercises, but I don't want to stress out my muscles over my incision site. What kind of exercise did you start after transplant and how do you increase the intensity of your exercise over time? Okay, so like I just said, sorry I didn't know this question was going to be next, but like I just said, um, 
I started to go on long walks about three months after my transplant. When I would be consistent, I slowly started to increase. I began to run and jog after, and I was doing a lot, guys. Like, I started to about three months jog for like three miles a day. Um, and I just slowly grew up that momentum and to be there, like at that at running three miles um, it didn't happen overnight after me running and I felt comfortable um, I was able to do like ab workouts and lifting but that was about six months after because you are not you should not be doing any type of abdominal workout any sooner than six months because you can really stress out your kidney and the incision. And if you are wondering, when I first started working out, I felt a lot of pain around my kidney area. But over time, I believe that the muscle began to like kind of stretch and get comfortable with the new kidney, that it went away about a month of me working out. So after that, I felt fine. Can I talk about health insurance? Honestly, that question needs a whole video to itself so I'm not gonna answer too much um, or I'm not gonna talk too much about that here in this video because I do believe it needs a whole video to itself our next question what will your plan be when your years are running out or run out of your kidney transplant I'm concerned when my kidney transplant no longer is working and what will your advice be next thank you for your videos may the Lord continue to bless you amen um, so I don't really like to think about it I know as humans it's very quick for us to worry about things that aren't even happening but I don't think about it I honestly just keep blessing my health I keep blessing my kidney transplant and I keep blessing the longevity of it and I always hope and pray that it lasts for a long time I don't want to worry about it I'm only three years post and I know in the beginning it was something that I did worry about because I was like man this kidney's not gonna last forever what am I gonna do next but it's something I try not to think about it because I believe that when the time comes, I will like you know I will have to do what I have to do, um, and I don't want to go on dialysis again. I know that for sure. I don't want to go on dialysis, um, but whatever God's will is, um, you know, whatever He He wants me to do because I did grow a lot on my dialysis time. That process was difficult and it helped me out to grow and develop um, both spiritually, and mentally, um, because it taught me a lot. next question what issues what's the issue you face when you forget to take your pill or drink less water okay so i will be honest with you guys i don't remember every single day to take my pills there's days that i will forget and um when i forget the next morning i'm like okay cindy take it like you have to because you have to take your medicine but i haven't felt anything like extreme from it if that makes sense like there's nothing oh like that my body starts to feel really bad or um, I start to get headaches no I haven't felt any of that um, and if I don't drink enough water then it is a problem I do feel like more tired and more drained um, because water is super important to you next question how many medications are you still taking um, so I am currently taking Celsep, prednisone, carvedilol, carvedilol I'm sorry um, and Balatisep, which is an infusion. So I'm currently only on four medications, which is honestly not bad because I thought I was going to be on a whole lot more. But just those four, three of those, I'm sorry, two of those are for my transplant. Um, the other one is for my blood pressure and then the other one is for my transplant, but it's an infusion and it's once a month. So it's not too bad. Um, our next question, after kidney transplant of six months, can you eat chocolate? Yes, I was eating chocolate honestly right away. I was never restricted from chocolate. I love chocolate. Um, I should not eat it because it's very unhealthy. It has a lot of sugar and the sugar is not good for you. But there's no problem eating chocolate. Our next question. Hi, Cindy. You look great. I'm 1.3 years post-transplant. My creatinine fluctuates between 1.4 and 1.6. Is that fine? My protein leak is more. In urine what do you recommend in diet do I have to cut down fish I don't eat chicken or meat I'm overweight but physically active as I have a three and a half year old daughter um, so from my experience when I was leaking um, protein I did get a biopsy and I did uh, find out that 
it was the MPG and the autoimmune disease that was affecting me. Um, Everybody is different and it's something that you would have to ask your doctor what it could possibly be, um, what they can do further um, to see how they are able to control it. And it is normal for your creatinine to fluctuate. My creatinine fluctuates too. Um, I remember right after my transplant, um, a couple of weeks after I was at 0.8 and sometimes at 0.9 and then there was a time where it was at 1 so it is normal for your credit to fluctuate and that's just with anybody even with healthy people so uh, those are all the questions that I have for you hopefully I answered your question if you guys have any more questions just leave them down in the comment section and I will get to them as well thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you so much for all the love and the support may God bless you guys and have a beautiful and blessed day bye everyone